Welcome back, fellow Minecraft enthusiasts, to another episode of the Farming Chronicles, surviving 100 days in Minecraft Hardcore. I'm your host, and today we have an insane challenge lined up just for you. But before we dive into that, you make sure to smash that subscribe button, smash the like button, leave a comment down below to join a growing community of Minecraft adventurers. Now let's jump right into the madness, so to say. Have you ever wondered what it takes to survive 100 days in an unforgiving world of Minecraft Hardcore? Well get ready to witness the ultimate test of skill, strategy and determination as we embark on this epic journey together. Can we conquer the challenges that lie ahead? Let's find out. Alright folks, here we are in a hardcore Minecraft world surrounded by endless possibilities and lurking dangers. Our first challenge is to establish a sustainable farm to ensure survival. It won't be simple as planting a few crops and calling it a day. Oh no, we're taking it to the next level. Our first challenge, challenge number one, is to create an insane farm that only provides us with food but also becomes a visual masterpiece. By experimenting with unique crop layouts, Utilize redstone contractions, even correct some mind boggling automation techniques. Get ready to witness farming, but like you've never seen before. But oh no, this is already night one, and I'm struggling to find a place to, to build my base, ladies and gentlemen. Whatever shall I do? Comment down below what you think is going to happen next. By the way, it's going to be insane. But it took a trials and then now it's day two and I finally managed to find a secret location to build my little base. I use polished I use uh was it polished granite I think or polished yeah polished granite or I think andesite it was. It's one of those two ladies and gentlemen. Comment down below which one you think it was, I can't quite recall, but it was insane. When I finished building the floor, got my bed, slept, and now it's day three. And I started getting the seeds, collecting all the seeds, getting all the woods, because everyone knows to build a proper farm, you need the, uh, not wood planks, but the wood, uh, what's it called? Uh, comment down below if you know what I'm talking about, the, the, the wood or like, the actual, uh, the actual wood itself, you know. Like, the actual wood itself, like, you know, when you, like, just chopping down the, the tree and you collect the oak, well, that's what you use. Uh, oak log, that's the oak log, oak logs. So you collect the oak logs and don't convert into planks, just keep as oak logs. And you build, like, a, like, a long, like, rectangular width. So I think you do, like, 8 by 10 by 8 by 10. Or something like that. My first one was kind of small, but it gradually gets bigger as the days go longer. So guys, comment down below, by the end, how many farms have I built? And how quickly they've grown? Because I'm interested to see comments down below in the section. So don't forget to comment. Also, don't forget to watch the end of the video to see what happens. It's absolutely mind-blowing, the results. Too, too big too excited guys, you know. Now that our farm is thriving, it's time to expand her horizons and delve into the world of interactive animal husbandry. We're breeding and taming a variety of animals from chickens to cows and venturing to the realm of random exotic creatures. Can we create the ultimate animal sanctuary? And here is challenge number three, epic adventures. So having 100 days of Minecraft Hardcore won't be complete without epic adventures. Be exploring treacherous caves, barren fearsome mobs, and unearthing hidden treasures. But be aware, one wrong move could spell disaster. And end our journey. Will we conquer the darkness and emerge victorious? Only one way to find out, stick around to the end to see what happens. As we embark on this insane journey, I invite you to join us every step of the way. Make sure to subscribe to my, our channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a like if you're enjoying the content. 
Your support means the world to me and motivates us to push the boundaries of Minecraft gameplay. Don't forget to comment down below with your thoughts, suggestions, and in mind any same challenges I can see us tackle in the future. And now, speaking of which, day number four, I managed to finally finish building my second second farm. It took so long because it's slightly more longer and took a while to gather all the seeds. Plus, I needed to. Get uh, get enough material and resources to make buckets, so then I can collect water and then distribute it like this. Because in case you guys didn't know, guys, the tip of building each perfect farm is not only the width, like base foundation of it, but the layout. So it'll build like a middle lane, direct middle lane, like this, where we put our planks. And then you need to make sure you get the right type of dirt. So we want the dirt with grass. Also, need to make sure you get lots of quite lots of holes. Comment down below if it's what's your favorite hole. Yeah. So anyway, guys, you need. Yeah. So it's like so. What you do once you finish building the middle lane, then you put here, so leave a space and like an empty lane here next beside that. Build another lane of the dirt grass blocks. Then you tilt it using the hole, so it's cultivated. Once you finish that, you do the same with that. So it's every 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 second lane you build the dirt grass block lane. And then what you do once you do that on both sides or on the A side like this. Then you get one bucket and you fill it in between. Fill between all the lanes. Also some of them I did do even and uneven like lanes and sides. Sometimes I did they built the dark grass lane right next to the middle one and then do that and that and that. Other times just the first way. You guys come down below which one you think is much better and more effective. And now I also got my plant my beetroot seeds, my pumpkin seeds and my wheat seeds. I also got some flower, got a flower bed or flower garden next to my underground hidden base. Kind of secretive. Very cool, I know guys, is insane. Oh yeah, so and it's now it's, uh, after that, quickly went to bed. Quickly went to bed, guys, and then now it's the next day. And I was up and about fixing the this because there's mobs keep exploding everything. So annoying. Leave a comment down below if you hate creepers. I absolutely hate them. So anyway, I finished building my third one. It's a much more larger, longer one, a wider one too. Like I said, same layout and formation and structure and foundation of this farm, but this time I put a lot more lanes so that I can put that plant a lot more seeds. It took a while and it's finally night time, so I went to bed, guys. Next day, whoo, building my last farm. I think this is my fourth farm now, by the way, guys. Keep track, keep keep track, comment down below how many farms it was, how many days it takes me to finish building. The last couple or the last one. Yeah, so anyway guys, so that's that's that. Took a while. Whew. And that's a wrap for today's episode of the Farming Chronicles, surviving 100 days in Minecraft Hardcore World. A while should I uh, should I say the Farming Chronicles surviving 100 days in a new Minecraft world in hardcore mode. Join us in the next episode as we continue our quest of survival and face even more mind-blowing challenges. Witness insane farming techniques, interact with animal husbandry and embark on epic adventures. Until then, stay crafty, stay virtuous and keep on gaming.
and right now but guys if you like this kind of content make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this and get this video to 3000k likes if you want to see a part two of this farming chronicle series and i would recommend, highly recommend or strongly recommend guys the guys interested in this kind of minecraft gameplay content and click this video right here while i did another another minecraft dream i did a minecraft dream house video or click right here if you're interested in other gaming gaming videos and i'll see you guys next time have a blessed day thank you so much for watching oh before i forget don't forget to vote my community my on my community posts or my community tabs where i post try and post weekly as well Great community posts also don't forget to vote on my community posts which video for now like better and thanks so much for watching guys